Okay, now I'm going to begin the premium raw diet. What I typically do in the premium raw diet is at night I prepare my vegetables first. Uh, the premium raw diet can be a big pain if you try to do everything at once in the morning. I typically feed in the morning uh, simply because a dog is a diurnal animal. What does diurnal mean? It means dogs move about by day. Being a diurnal animal, a dog is supposed to get up and look for food in the day and sleep at night. So, it's simply best for a dog's health to feed him in the morning and let him go through the day and go to sleep. In winter, sometimes people say it's better to feed at night, which they have a full stomach and uh, it causes them to sleep better. I'm not going to get into that. I feed during the day, I feed in the morning. So, my first part of my preparation is the vegetables, which I do at night and I give to my dogs in the morning. The vegetables I think are an important part of a dog's diet, but they need to be pre-digested. Typically an animal will eat the stomach contents, the whole stomach, the whole animal. Um, and if it's a larger animal, eat the guts, eat the intestines and everything else with some of the stomach contents in there. Dogs really can't process vegetables as they are. So I either use a juicer or I use a vegetable chopper to effectuate that end. Um, I'm going to show you first one and then the other and my reasons for both which again I personally do at night and have it all ready so that in the morning I just take a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of that in each dog's food. So uh, we'll prepare the vegetables right now and then we'll move into the meat and incorporating that into the meat for the premium raw diet. Okay, the first part of my raw food preparation typically involves vegetables. Um, I normally prepare my vegetables at night, I mix them all up, and I put them in a container and then come morning when I feed, and I'll explain why later, I just take a spoonful and I stick it in each bowl like that. It's already prepared in the morning so I don't have to spend time doing this in the morning. Um, before I talk about the different vegetables and such, <clears throat> um, I want it to be known that there are some people who state that you should not feed vegetables in a proper raw feeding regimen. That vegetables are not part of a dog's diet. I personally disagree. I realize and fully subscribe to the fact dogs are basically carnivores, that they basically eat raw whole animals for foods. But two things are also true. One, dogs ingest the stomach contents of plant eaters, herbivores. In doing so, they're eating vegetables. Two, dogs will also stop and eat berries, they'll dig up roots, they eat grass, they do eat vegetables. It's a simple fact. It's a very small portion of their diet, I agree with this, and I also agree that dogs don't really digest the vegetables very well. Berries and such, uh, they can, but uh, harder vegetables like this, they really can't pass these well, which is why when they eat the stomach contents of prey items, it's already pre-digested for them, yet they get the nutrients because the fact is vegetables have a lot of nutrients that meat does not have. Uh, so while we're not typically offering the stomach contents of dogs, what we can do is pre-digest. We do this with a uh, uh, vegetable chopper as well as with a juicer that I'm going to show you in the next segment. So I'll also state that the so-called top food brands are likewise replete with vegetables. For example, let's take Taste of the Wild. <clears throat> it's considered one of the top brands of kibble. Uh, we've already busted the myths about kibble, but let's just face it. Part of the ingredients of this product is uh, chicory root, tomatoes, blueberries, raspberries, uh, yucca or yucca shidigera extract, dried fermentation. They've got uh, plenty of vegetables in there. The <clears throat> origin that we've shown earlier, uh, where's this thing in English? Okay, they use kelp, I don't know of any dog that goes in the ocean, alfalfa, pea fiber, chicory root, spinach, turnip greens, apples, cranberries, blueberries, licorice root, angelica root, fenugreek, marigold flowers, sweet fennel. They have all kinds of different roots, berries, 
plant matter, grasses in there. Uh, but the fact is, when it comes out, uh, it, it's a little brown pellet. It's not the actual vegetable or fruit matter with all the enzymes and, and, and processed ingredients. The fact is, this stuff comes out looking like this. This is bone dry, totally cooked, devalued matter, along with meats and other such things. It, it's no longer the nutritious vegetables. And, in, and instead of processing minimally and allowing for uh, optimal nutrients retention, as what I'm going to show you, they process maximally, totally, and remove much, if not all, of the nutritional value. So this is why we use the chopper. Now, instead of using dried root, this is an actual uh, malanga root. This is ginger root. This is yucca, yucca, however you want to pronounce it, root. And this is jicama root. All of these different roots, all of these different roots, you can basically just take a knife and cut pieces of them. Like such. Put it in your chopper. Okay? All of these nutrients, and you're going to add as much as what you need. I've only got about 10 dogs. I don't need a whole lot of this stuff. But you can add pieces of each of these elements. Go ahead and chop them. Blueberries. These are actual blueberries. This is what blueberries look like. They don't look like dry brown pellets that I just showed you. It's the same thing for strawberries. Okay? I personally either feed vegetables or fruit to my dogs. I don't mix them. I have my reasons for that that I'm not going to get into, but I typically either make vegetables, which is normal, or I mix fruits, berries, strawberries, oranges, apples, melons, things of this nature, and give it to my dogs that way. I, I sometimes stagger it. I'll give vegetables one day, fruit the next, and areas like that. Now for a discussion of the vegetables, these vegetables here are what I pretty much use mostly, and I'll explain what they are. Okay, one of the things I really like to give is garlic. Garlic is a tonic, it has antibacterial properties, helps fight intestinal, helps fight intestinal parasites, uh, reduces a number of bacterial pathogens including uh, staph infections and things of this nature which can affect their urinary tract, their lungs, their skin, things of this nature. We also grow our own peppers. These are uh, jalapeno and haberno and other types of peppers that we grow. I add that. It dilates the blood vessels, gets the blood flowing good. Tomatoes are great. Tremendous source of vitamin C. And one of the biggest ones I like to give are collard greens. Uh, collard greens and mustard greens, far superior to spinach and vastly superior to lettuce, has a tremendous amount of iron, vitamin K and other essential nutrients. Vitamin K has to do with blood clotting and so I like to add a lot of collard grains and I put all this stuff in here cauliflower, broccoli, I tend to use Brussels sprouts too, I don't have them here, asparagus, carrots have vitamin A. All of these vegetables are just vital to complete and adequate nutrition. Um, I'm not going to sit here and stuff this all up and mix it with you because it makes a god-awful sound. I'll do that next with the juicer to show something even more compelling. But essentially you put all this stuff in here and you mix it up. It creates a pulp. I'm going to do that and then show you the end result uh, offline. I'm, I'm going to do it offline and then I'll come back and show you uh, everything. But when you mix all these root components and everything else, you get a mulch that I put in a, a container and then I spoon it to my dogs when I feed it to them. So let me go mix all this stuff up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've finished now mixing the last of this batch of vegetables. I've used one of the tomatoes, a couple of the carrots. I don't use it all, I just have it out here for display purposes. But I had celery, cauliflower, broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, half of this pepper, half of that pepper, one of the garlic cloves, and elements of each of these roots that I've shown you previous. I did not use the berries I showed you uh, because I just, um, I just, 
again, believe in giving fruits with fruits and vegetables with vegetables. That's just the way I do things. Um, then I'm going to put all of this stuff in here for storage. I'm going to keep it overnight when I actually feed my dogs. Oops, got to get this thing out of here. pour it in here. Last but not least, I'm going to use the collard greens. I did all these vegetables first. You do whatever order you want. But it took me about three different uh, sets to get where I want to be and that's to have a mix of a uh, wide variety of vegetables for my dogs. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the greens now. Okay, I just finished mixing the last batch, which is the greens I mentioned, and I add that last. There are three basic layers that I do. First is the roots and such. Second is the mainstay vegetables, the typical vegetables, carrots, celery, and whatnot. And then I make sure I add these greens. It could be argued I've already got greens with the broccoli. But I just believe each type of vegetable offers its own unique twist and has its own unique assets. And then mix it all up with a spoon and store it. After I'm done mixing all of this stuff together, I just put the lid on and I store it and give about one to two heaping tablespoons of it to each dog. It is a somewhat lengthy process doing this, but it is a very good process. You get a full complement of actual vegetables, raw vegetables. They're not dried brown pellets that make us think of good vegetables. They're actual vegetables that are used uh, with their full liquid. You can see it's glistening wet. It's got all of the important elements, the trace minerals, vitamins, enzymes, everything that is needed is here. And again, I just take a tablespoon, thwop, thwop, and just give it to my dogs. This is one way to serve your vegetables to your dogs. Again, I think from a time element, it's good to do this at night. Get your lid on, put your lid on, and stick it in the fridge. And then I just wait and serve my dogs in the morning with the meat products that I'm going to show you not next section, but the section after that. Having said all this and given this presentation, I'm going to cut this off now and move to another way to give your vegetables that I actually give more frequently than this procedure right here. But this is just one way to serve your vegetables raw and in their healthiest state to your dogs. Okay, now we've already discussed uh, vegetables and whatnot. And uh, you can use the vegetable chopper as I just previously did, which is a perfectly viable way to give vegetables to your dogs. To me, the more intelligent way is to give it with a juicer. And this is a juicer. You, most of you have seen them, but you put the vegetables in here, you grind it up, the liquid comes out, <clears throat> and you drink the liquid, and then all the garbage, the little microscopic pieces of uh, vegetable come out in here and get trapped in here. <clears throat> that way you can use your vegetables twice. You and your family uh, enjoy the nutrients and the juice and then the dogs eat the garbage. So uh, I've always been kind of a frugal type uh, and that's the way I give it. Again, unlike kibble where, uh, excuse me one second, over here, unlike kibble which you know, they talk about all the vegetables that they give in their ingredients profile, but what you actually get are brown pellets. Instead, this is actually the way fruits and vegetables are to be given. Again, you've got the yucca root. And by the way, in the last uh, section I said yucca. My Hispanic girlfriend corrected me. It is yucca, not yucca. So my apologies for my mispronunciation. But... Uh, you know, it works the same way, just a little piece of the root here. And you can mix and match the vegetables. Right here I've got, uh, I've got uh, cauliflower, a lot of times I'll have broccoli. 
I've got Brussels sprouts. I've got, uh, I went and looked it up, it's the Malanga root, I forgot, but this is the yucca root. This is a uh, red cayenne pepper. I don't usually give too much of this, but it's very good for the blood, for circulation and everything. So I give about a half of one of these. They're pretty darn strong. And this is a ginger root. This is uh, garlic. Obviously carrots. I got the tomato, celery. And a lot of times I give apples, uh, blueberries. Uh, blueberries and apples are very popular for the pectin, as well as the... Uh, antioxidants that they give <clears throat> but again this is the true form and way uh, in which it's supposed to be eaten whereas when you give it in a kibble you're just giving a brown pellet anyway um, I just run all of this stuff through Tina and I enjoy the juice and then I take the uh, pulp that's out completely helped uh, to be pre-digested for the dogs and I mix it up real good and then I give them a tablespoon or two depending on the size of the dog in their food. That way I'm using my vegetables twice. I'm giving my dogs a whole lot of micro and trace nutrients. And uh, that's what I believe in. Um, there are, again, like I mentioned, there are some people who um, don't believe in giving dogs vegetables. And if you put a plate full of vegetables, the dogs really won't eat much of them by themselves. But they do nibble on grasses and whatnot and it certainly hasn't hurt my dogs and so that is what I do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm not going to bore you with running all this stuff through the processor but uh, when I finish I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm wrapping this up now. vegetables into two things, a bunch of pulp here and a bunch of juice here. Um, this thing has to shut off all the way and it's important that you clean it off real quick. The fruits and vegetables and the sugar stick to this plastic and the filters. But as you can see there's a lot of pulp here. Okay? There's a lot of it here. It's all caught in there. I take away my juice and I mix that up and I serve it to Tina and myself and then I wash these things. I'm going to set this in the uh, sink for now. Get this plate out of the way. Then what I do is I take uh, a container as before, some type of Tupperware. This happens to be a glass container, but whatever floats your boat. I take all this pulp, which is still plenty good, has plenty of nutrition in it, and Put it in here for serving the dogs later. And then of course I wash all of these uh, instruments off. This is all very, it's pre-digested. Remember, dogs have a trouble digesting uh, vegetables. They're not plant eaters by nature. Yeah, they have omnivorous qualities uh, and they will a little bit eat vegetables, but pretty much uh, their digestive system is not long enough to fully digest uh, most plant matter. This is why, uh, as I mentioned, the true plant eaters like cows and goats and whatnot have very, very long intestines. Dogs have shorter intestines. Well, by mixing, um, excuse me, the fork, by mixing everything up like this with the food processor, the juicer, you basically uh, create a state of pre-digestion for the vegetables which makes it easier for the dogs to uh, assimilate, makes it easier for them to benefit from the vitamins and other trace minerals that are in it. It's kind of messy. But uh, this should basically serve, oh I don't know, let me see, excuse me. It's a good tablespoon. I give one to two tablespoons per dog inside their food, which I'll show in a minute, the complete, uh, what I call my premium raw diet, and this is part of the premium raw diet, is uh, uh, a complete vegetable medley, really, that I don't necessarily have to just buy it for my dogs, I actually use it myself, Tina and I use it, we benefit from it, we 
uh, get the nutrition from it, and yet so too can our dogs. We're really getting to use it twice. So whatever we pay is actually half of what we pay because we get to use it twice. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, premium raw diet presentation, which uh, if I haven't mentioned it earlier, I've done so many different clips, it's hard to remember. I do this at night generally. I don't do it on the day I'm going to feed the dogs. Typically, uh, with my schedule, and keep in mind, of course, your own schedule is your schedule, and you should tailor this to uh, suit your own lifestyle, but uh, I'm home all day. I work on projects all day. Tina works. She comes home at uh, 5 or 6 o'clock. Uh, around 4 to uh, 5, I go ahead and, and make this so she's got something to pepper up and be good when she comes home to enjoy. And then I cover it up. I don't actually feed it to the dogs right now. I'm going to cover it up and just stick it in the refrigerator like this. And I feed in the morning. It's better to feed dogs in the morning. Uh, and I'll explain why. But I take this out as something to add to my dog's meals in the morning. Uh, but I prepare this at night because I don't want to make too big of a project at, at, in the morning to feed the dogs. So what I do is I just have this already prepared in the evening. So come the following morning, I just bring it out, scoop some in each of the dog's uh, uh, bowls, and then wash it out and I'm done with it. But this is a very good way for me to incorporate uh, top, top vegetables in their proper form for uh, these dogs while still benefiting myself. So we'll go move on to the next part of the presentation which is the full premium raw diet which I think is as good or better than anything you could possibly feed your dogs. Uh, yeah, raw, raw whole animals are what they're designed to eat in nature but uh, this is every bit as good in my opinion and it's a little more convenient in some ways that you can you can get all this stuff at the store, Walmart, Publix, whatever uh, and yet it does take more time than just tossing a raw animal out there to your dog so whatever works for your schedule but this is probably what most people who want to do their best are going to do is use this premium raw diet. Okay.